And that's what joining us on PM Express tonight. I'm pretty sure you may have heard. It was a major uh, address today uh, by the former Agric minister. And uh, as you know, he is firmly in the presidential race to lead the MPP into the 2024 elections. And so tonight, he's going to spend some time with us as we look at the big ideas he laid for today when he appeared uh, in the UPSA uh, auditorium to lay forth his plan. Fundamentally, he's a man of a Greek, and we'll track his track record very shortly. You see that he's done a Greek almost all his entire adult life, and he makes a very important, bold point. We can build Ghana, we want through agriculture, is, is what he's focusing on. And for him, a Greek could be the pillar around which we, we thrive as a country. And if you look at some of the key points that he raised today, for those who have been followed, who are now getting home and haven't paid attention to the uh, former Greek minister, Dr. Usi Friyakoto, a key point to highlight from what he said today. He said, there shall be a newly created agricultural management team. I'm sure you've heard about the uh, economic management team. It's a very famous body. He's uh, proposing to create a similar one, but this time just for the management of the agric sector. He'll break that down for us, why that is such an important part of his plan. And then he makes the point that Ghana has improved this food security index and made food available uh, to all. This is stressing his own personal record, but also makes a point about uh, Ghana is not only feeding itself, he says, we become the bread basket of West Africa. And then he tells us a bit about the, uh, some of the key numbers that he, under his watch, the agric sector, has managed to, to put together, and some of them pretty interesting. So he talks about the fact that the uh, total production uh, by the application of uh, improved seeds and fertilizer alone amounted to some 47.5 billion Ghana cities between 2017 and 2021. And the reason why this struck me was because of the link he made between that and the possibility of Ghana, if we do this well, avoiding an, another IMF program in the future. And for me, that is important. We'll look at that when, when, we, when we get to speak to him. There are a few other things that we've also tracked. As I said, we're not just trying to understand the man a bit. If you look at his track record, a Greek seemed to be at the forefront of most everything is done. Of course, we know he's a former Greek minister, member of parliament in Kwadaso, a deputy ranking member on the food and agriculture uh, affairs. Again, a Greek uh, consultant, World Bank and the United Nations of Commodities, CEO of the Goldcrest uh, you know, Commodities Limited and Plantation Resources, economist, senior economist, principal. So th this is a man who's been there and done that over the years. And he wants to bring that to bear um, when it comes to the subject of the economy. And, uh, but we believe he's going to run if he gets the nod. And remember that this is a primary first. Two things that will, will, many people would like to scrutinize. One, his own track record, which I believe is what he did today. He, he didn't shy away from his track record. He took it on strongly. And then we also have to run on President Kufuado's own track record as well. I mean, because obviously, anybody who wins the race will run on a Kufuado's track record. But if you were a minister before, you run on your own track record. The beauty of what happened today is that the, uh, Dr. Ifriya Koto was clear in laying out what his own track record in the agri sector is. We will stay with that a bit more when we sit with him. As for the track record of Akufado, it only comes to play if he wins the flag bearership contest of the NPP. And then at that time, I'm pretty sure we'll get to talk to him again if that happens. And then we'll see whether it's a track record that he's proud of and he wants to stand with. And so that's one of the things we'll be looking at uh, when, when, when we speak to him. So stay with me. He's already seated here on the show. When we return from this quick break, I'll be picking his thoughts. Why does he really want to be president? Because fine, that's the ultimate objective. Why? I want him to encapsulate that for me uh, in a bullet point. And then we'll get to interrogate a bit of that. Stay with me.